We all know Chosan in the heart of Senegambia. For my people in the diaspora, Chosan is a place that people love and it's still happening. They have live music almost every other how many days in a week? Almost seven days a week they have live music here in Chosan. So the makers in this kind of America, when you come, know that Chosan is still existing. It used to be my favorite place, but now we are old people, so we don't come to clubs. <laughs> so thank you, Lamin, for hosting us. And uh, before we move into the program itself, we have a few guests here today. Our sponsors are among them. And then we also have a representative, Mr. Uncle Ibukan from Norway. Um, since he's the elder, he's in the country, so he's going to represent the association to talk a little bit about the association, give a statement on behalf of the association as well. Um, the, from there, we'll also have uh, Saul Fraser uh, of Global Property, the father of all global properties in this country. He has been existing for a long time and he's still helping the needy and he's still also contributing and supporting the development of this country. Saul Fraser is also here, he's part of the sponsors. We also have uh, Coringo, and uh, they also part of the sponsors of this um, Gambia cultural um, anniversary that's supposed to happen in Oslo. And also we'll have Ali Wali, who's going to represent the manager, and Lamin himself is here, the manager of Chosan. My committee members here, and a member of the organization, Arfang, He's also here. There are others who were to be here, but they are engaged on their other businesses, trying to avoid to have some problems unsolved before they return back to Oslo. Uh, seeing that he has just mentioned about the Gambia Association in Oslo, which has invited Three of our singers, musicians, this year to represent us, he mentioned the Gambia. It's not the first time that we are inviting people or artists from various sectors, not only music, but cultural as well. I have this, I'll read it later, but I just want to elaborate something that might be of interest to all of you. Yes, he mentioned that the organization was formed 37 years ago. Some of you are not born. It was to bring our people together under any circumstance as immigrants in the diaspora. It was well nurtured and taken care of by those elders who were then living in that country. And it is 
the first and the foremost in Europe and Scandinavia that influenced some of the other Gambians within the diaspora to emulate that organization in Oslo so that they can bring Gambians together not only to celebrate but also to discuss some of their matters that are concerned or that are of concern to the society that has been built within either the cities or the country at large. I said we have been taking some musicians to Oslo to showcase them so that when they are on stage not only are they heard but they are also recognized because those concerts are locked into your media it goes far away i'll just tell you one example before we go further Jaliba Kuyat and the Kumare Band as one of those whom we have invited to Oslo. He has a drummer. I think he's called Omar, if I have forgotten the name. Omar, he is just talented. The first day that he performed at our so-called Sabar, There was a Norwegian who saw Omar's talent and told us he needed Omar at his spot. Can you imagine? Because he saw Omar with his percussions. Doing it with six drums, he couldn't understand how. And the rhythm was rich. He said, no, he has to engage Omar into his place. He did. For those few days, Omar showed his expertise. This is exactly what we are trying to say, that we are taking them abroad so that they can also be part of what we have to expose culturally, musically, and so forth. Thank you all for joining us to this remarkable historical gathering. I go by the name Ali Wali. I sat before you as the manager of one of the incredible talented artists. Uh, by the go, our Gambia. Uh, we is, is about to embark the European tour for the first time. This tour represents the mileage which is going to add the female artist their music career. And making a new chapter feel of opportunity grow and the chance of connecting your fans across the country. We are proud of our female artists, their hard work, the commitment and determination and the passions that they put to their arts work that propel them the high height. Uh, this journey, and I can say that this travel, uh, it's not only a chance to connect their fans or to showcase their music international, but and it's also an opportunity for them to learn, to grow, and uh, to experience uh, depending on which is going to add for their music career. We are humbled by the opportunity and uh, we can say that we are so grateful for our government brothers in Oslo for this great recognition and this motivation for our female artists. Uh, that uh, we, before that was a norm say that female artists are not going or they will not stand. But we have seen that like that, um, that's a breakthrough to it. This is all depend on your hard work and your effort that can make you achieve whatever you want. As my the brother said, from representing the organizations, like uh, when you work hard, you achieve whatever you want. Even your enemy will accept you what you are. So we are urging our all our artists to work harder with uh, these great opportunities. Uh, they all can travel anyhow, anytime. So I'm here on behalf of my artists, our Gambia, and uh, with their two artists.
we have seen a lot of achievement recently she has made to say hey what man can do a woman can do too and uh, we are saying that like a woman cannot they say that women don't support women but we have seen a gambians supporting our gambian 110 percent all depend on their achievement and their hard work and why can recognize vividly these are the three recognized or recommended artists that has achieved consistency for past several years that they deserve to be in this journey and uh, this is what we need the unite together be one and this and that just like in life you cannot compete with the other side you always have a competitor with your like yesterday what they did you want to do it tomorrow better than that that's what you that take you to another level so i assure you all that um i will be always recovering fast uh recovering 100 percent and it's, it's preparing to do an fine performance you all know with his um melody voice and uh, with the rest of the three queens we sell that we call them destiny child and probably it's going to be a lot of like we're going to do a lot of project within them maybe probably when they come they can do the one jingle three of them and stuff like that yes we need to connect them and to make them strong to avoid the hatred and uh, push and pull within themselves and i'm uh, um, so i can i recognize the effort of individuals that work hard behind the scenes to see this journey to people like uh Pamo, the president of government music union and uh Firke Jo Singate being a, a living legend or being a artist but still now you are giving back to the society and also it was um, a whole lot to see all the managers are working hand in hand to see this make uh to see it too so uh, as i said we are all ones if you know me you know, like i don't um i only work with the artists i put before i was like 100 for wali seka but they said a dancer yard before dancer dancer abroad and i can say that i'm so grateful to be part of the people that um break the boundaries in 2018 that we believe that like that was a time nothing more than 15,000 people audience listen to the government music unless until when we launch um saluto album at the independent stadium we pull out more than 25,000 people that were government believe and those are the people six people or seven people travel to sweden and they all come back and with this uh we can also the organizers three of these queens you're not going to disappoint them with the performance and they're going to entertain their audience and they all going to be um, giving what they have so to make things short because we have we have been here since i think four o'clock or three o'clock but gambian time in it so yes yeah, since 12 to some people are there so i as a, as a um, champion manager i can say and a um, champion promoter the only international model coordinator i'm uh, super proud and excited for uh, this government umar mr umar the government in oslo for his tireless effort he was always online and he's very kind and very humble person and the rest of the government uh, in oslo the executive members the members of the uh, we say thank you too for giving back to gambia they could have invited the senegalese artists they could have invited anywhere this is their money they're independent but they said no look and i'm i'm not a surprise but also a surprise to hear about that they took a lot of our legend artists jaliba and fambon and other previous artists they have been doing this for more than 37 years and this have to put into light this have to these are the things where we need to celebrate them they have to put all the media according to what they did what they achieved and this is what we need for all our government brothers those who are in abroad those who normally organize an event every year is mother of must to bring at least two or three artists to international to motivate them to encourage our government artists and also we are urging the government to to step in to make it easiest for our artists to enable to them to have a visa without struggling or being scared or being rejected so it's all we all have to go there. and thank you for the journalists also like to be honest like you there is no one can pay you for you people like anytime they call you you are always there for us uh supporting the main music because without media there is nothing like you can go so i thank you all for the, the, the artist artists he's managing has done very very well these past years like i said last year i would say since the uh the the, the 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 how do you call it the best artist so far because he's the one holding the crown so she's the best artist our we wish you sp um, a speedy recovery to make sure we just go and show the people out there what you get and then the next one uh, we move to sesangam as i said 
all these three ladies they deserve this as uncle ibu also said when they ask me about artists we look together know their music know what they represent and how organized they are and how consistent they are so it's not like cherry picking you have to deserve to be on this platform and this is the thing that is going to happen next year again we look for artists who are well deserved to represent us in norway we will reach out to them and do the same thing for them so big kudos to the association in oslo as well on that and as he rightly mentioned without the managers this would have been a hell of a job you know because when we came if i need something i talk to the manager they make sure the artist provided we need this they make sure it's possible so it was a teamwork and unity that make this trip happen hadn't been these three ladies are not united they would not travel together to go to dakar you know so they were all happy they were all working together that's why the whole process of this trip was so easy and successful so now we move to say Sengom. say something and then tell the fans what they were expecting in oslo and then uh, you know whatever you want to chabahal chabahal right assalamu alaikum everyone watching this live both home and abroad um <sighs> First of all, I would like to apologize for the lateness. I can't explain what happened here, but something definitely happened. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, to each and every single one of you here with us this evening, um, it's a great honor to have you all here with us. Uh, we thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, first off, I would like to start by saying thank you to the organizers of the 37th Gambian Cultural Week in Oslo uh, for making me a part of this edition selection. Mr. Omar Toure and every member of the Gambian Association in Oslo, um, we're truly grateful for the trust and you having so much confidence in us. It really means a lot. Thank you. Um, now this, this, this would mark my debut international performance and i couldn't be more excited honestly um i call it huge it's big um we just hope and pray that we make you all so proud when we come back um most importantly and this i'll have to um highlight <laughs> um we were we were informed that the theme for this year is centered around women empowerment and if you know Sess, you know I'm all about women empowerment. I'm a sister girl, right? <laughs> and um, what makes it even more exciting is I'll be embarking on this journey with two incredibly talented, beautiful young women. Right? Okay, at this point, um, I think I will have to hand over the mic to Singate. I, I think I've said enough. Haven't I? Let me just let me just add this though. I would like to I would like to believe, and this goes out to my sister here, Miss Jobis, and um our I would like to believe that we all are equally humbled to have been selected to be a part of this. And that together we're gonna hope and pray to put Gambia on the map. Right? And um yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Unless you have questions to ask here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, just as um, Uncle, uh, Uncle Uncle Khan says, they are performing live music because their kind of music represent live music. So that is not a like playback that we have been seeing that our other musicians are doing. No disrespect, but this one is a live band music. The ladies are going to play with a live band. So we're looking forward to that on the fourth of August in Oslo, and on the fifth is the gala dinner. They are going to perform there, and then from there we'll proceed to Germany as well, Bremen and Stuttgart. So from there. Miss Jobis is here, Kalajula, commonly known as Kalajula. So you also add up something. Then the, we wrap the show from there. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Miss Jobis, aka Kalajula. Do I have to say much? No. Okay. I thank each and everyone that um, took your time to attend this conference and hear us out and um i'll be hoping you guys will ask questions and singate will be very 
very happy to answer those questions. That's a huge plus being part of the three female headliners for the very first time. That's a plus to us. And it gets to show you that if you work hard, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are. If you work hard, two or three people out there will recognize your work and your effort. And then you will get what you deserve, inshallah. So I think I said a lot. I think I said a lot, but uh, thank you so much. And thank you, Uncle D, for making it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. Um, as you said, keep the faith in Longo Binala. So the day has come now, she's going internationally. Yes, so we have the baddest manager, D Jobs. He came. Um, let him also have something to say before we just um, wrap up from here. Thank you very much, Mr. MC, uh, in your mightiest capacity as the greatest Samaritan for this country, Singate. To my, <laughs> to my fellow managers, Ali Wari, my younger brother, the champion manager. To Pamodu, um, my fellow manager and brother who has done a lot by these ladies and for these ladies. Uh, to spon the sponsors that are here, uh, my regards to all of you. I wouldn't know some of you, but I respect all of you. Uh, to all the guys that are here to represent in Capital Merits, uh, the Gambia Norway Association uh, is definitely a blessing to have all of you here, especially this package that you please for our female artists. And then to my very good brother, uh, Lamin, who has been contributing to this socio-economic development of this country in your Argentinos capacity as the greatest person for this country. Thank you very much for coming. Yes, uh, when I first saw this flyer and I, I look at the team for this year and I saw women empowerment, I said I am in for this team because I am not in for the patriarchy. I am in for the matriarchy. Women should be empowered. That's the fact of the matter. You may laugh you know, because of all the vocabulary, but the fact of the matter is I have my capacity as the baddest manager because I want to make sure that we have a music industry that is female dominion and that will happen. I want you to put your hands together for these female artists. Yes. They deserve a standing ovation. For far too long, our industry having male dominion. It will not happen here. And I said I have a responsibility and I will make sure that I mount this in a way that I will not be scared, you know, to spew anything because it's all about you people. We should be supportive to you. When we allow people to give more flyer to male artists in this country, to give more opportunity to male artists, to create more platforms for them, to create more endorsement deals for them, we will continue to amass more arrows and arrows and arrows. And my Portuguese philosopher said, Erade himanum, pas erade jablukum. Ero is human, but too much of ero is evil. So it's important that we consider that. And I will make sure that I continue to echo similar sentiments with all of you in making sure that you are up there. You are going to Europe. You will also to America. Don't be surprised. The guys, they went there. They cannot do more than you people. You people are the real destiny child. You people are my baby. You people are the best hope of this country. If Arnold Schwarzenegger assured John Connor that he is the number one worldwide resistant, then D Jobs can assure three of you that you are the utmost trial for this country. Yes, clap for that. Thank you very much. So I don't want to be here. I can see Singade is trying to hustle the mic. I don't want to be here till tomorrow because whenever you mention DJ the baddest manager, they'll be around jargons and all these things. But the fact of the matter is, no, to be honest, in gatherings like this, my brother, you should spew jargons. It's about you people. It's not about male artists. It's about my female artists. So it is high time for us to pronounce this to the right authorities that we will um, stand by you and we'll make sure that we have more avenues like this to empower you. But again, my last appeal to the organizers in Europe, please, I want you to look for more sponsorship so that the next time the artists can go with their team. And I know you will do that for me. Thank you very much, Duncan Siriman. You guys are just amazing for coming up and then being late. You've been so patient and then so obedient. So I would love to say big thanks to you all. And once again, big thanks to the three managers. As I said, I couldn't do this alone, to be honest. But if I tell them, we need this, we need this, they make sure their artists provide it. So this makes the work way easier. And to all the artists that are watching, this is just the beginning of the journey. As he said, we are on talent hunting. We see whoever deserves and your music is appealing for the for what we represent out there. You'll be lucky to be among this. So next week, on the 38th, them then zoom. You them represent them.
Now by artist by guy then be after now then you buy less you never did again enjoy two today. No, there is no limitation as my uncle mentioned before. Groups have been going. You understand? But these are elderly groups whereby they don't have difficulties of traveling. Like Jaliba went with the whole group. They have experience of traveling. You understand? And uh, uh Usunjai senior was there last time with Abdul Kabin Gom. They also went with a group with their age and their experience of traveling. So it's easy to take them with a the group. This time, these ladies are going alone because they don't have any traveling history. So it will be very difficult to put a group behind them to avoid, you know, now to get this visa is very is difficult. But now that they have the way open for them, next time, as DJ just mentioned, we put it under put it under consideration. Even with this ban issue, the association they can is they can afford to bring a whole band. So maybe next 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 trip we can look for two or three musicians here that have the experience of traveling, blend them with them, and then they can do their thing. So for now, we just open the door for these ladies. Next time when they are going, they can hold their manager's hands and do with them. Um, this is a whole package you're talking about. And this question goes out to all the artists. You know, if you want to have a band or a group to travel with, you have to make sure your house is in, is in order. You understand? All those bands, that, that all those other countries in there travel with bands. Their documents, their houses in order. Not like you want to take an artist and he start preparing documents yesterday and today. You know, you have to get your house in order. Like you guys have been working, you've been working for a few years. And when you go, you know, this unit has been there, but not just for this purpose. And also for, 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 for example, we knew it before, it's very difficult for Gambian artists to even travel, to go and perform outside. Now it's just as easy as it is. So now, now the gate is opening. So there are a lot of opportunities, like what you're saying, can blend in to make sure we move to the next level, inshallah. You mentioned that. Yes, I think I've mentioned that earlier, but um, you can see it right here. I'm super excited, <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel super excited. This being the first time, and I, I promise to make you proud, inshallah. I think yeah? everyone's excited, <laughs> even how that we are all having doubts. <laughs> she wanted to make this trip to go and expose her talent because she has done enough here. It's good to go out there. So everyone excited here. One okay, come regarding the live band, send songs. You only got like over a month now, I think, since my sending songs. Send where you play, yep. You only go, yep, see band, the band, you need to send affair. You need to send practice. Then you see, we have, they are playing on the fourth, so we're gonna get there on the 30th. Yes. So we have days, three days to rehearse with them to make sure. You know, the rest is depend on their creativity. You know, you know, when they are on stage, you know, Tahal Bambi, eh? Oh, no, 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 watch out. The van, not swing away, no, no, like van with the van, no, I love it. No, humble, the guy humble. So they said their experience they're going to use on stage. You understand? But the band is there, they are rehearsing their songs. When we get there, we'll have a couple of um, rehearsals with them to make sure they are fully prepared. And then, uh, uh, there. Yeah. Cabrini, Cabrini, um, okay, for the first one is they are not going alone, they are going with me. Yes, I'll be helping them both stage and sound wise, you know, so they are going with three of them plus myself. We are all going together. You understand? So, so they are secured and they'll make sure that when they look, they can see someone that they know. You understand? So that's one is out of it. And then the other question is how happy they were when I contacted her. And the question was, she give up. They don't, she doesn't expect it. The female artists, they will travel. This, this is what she told me, right? Yes, so as he said, keep the faith in the Minala. So it happens. You understand? So they are all excited, as you can see. If I was here today, you would see the excitement in her. See, 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 trying to make sure that she make it. Because one, I'm going to fuck now, then I'm going to perform. So which was a big relief for me. You know, because people are looking forward. When the incident was out, when I got the screen, sort of, sort of, see, it's fine. It's just a knock. You understand? But Alhamdulillah, as he said, she's recovering. We all keep praying for her to make sure that she get there and then deliver as it is expected. I have heard your questions. First of all, I'll address regards either managers or apprentices or whatever. This is not about an engagement that a manager like this boy has organized internationally to take 
his or a musician out to the diaspora. No. Then it is his prerogative to call anybody he wants and apply what is needed to take his group. This is an organization and it is a non profitable organization that wants to do something, give back something to our people. Then, yes, there are limitations because of what we have in hand at, and what we can control, be it financially or otherwise. That is why before we do anything, we need to think about this first. Ask them. Not, I am not saying they didn't spend their own thing, but it is the association that is responsible from point A to point Z. Just to tell you how it works. And out there, I think he will feed them, or later on, he will feed you how it works. Because imagine taking this lady from here to Norway. It is my sole responsibility until when she quits and comes back home. Do you imagine what a burden that is? Yes. So just please forget about a congregation because we are not there yet. Of course, that is our dream. The way we took Super Eagles and uh, the other bands out there, it is the same way that we want to take other bands from here. So be rest assured, we need your support. We need your support because it is here, it grows from here. Because if you don't, then we fail because we wouldn't have anyone. So it, the support comes from here. Please do support them anyway, in any form, just to make so the success comes back to us. I mean, if I say us, Gambia. So I think uh, we will wrap it from here. I think the questions are finished. As he said, we get there slowly, but surely. I was waiting for this semester right here. My heart to stop digging that side. It's time for semester avenue. Let's have time. Let's have fun. I'm going to Gambia. Hello. I'm going to Gambia. I'm going to Gambia. I'm going to Gambia. I'm going to Gambia. I'm going to more than five different airports. I'm going to go to the airport. I'm going to go to the airport. Lumasi gana na harimanyo shuma ondeka fuma judo fuma yaro fuma 